This is a test of the innovative packaging technology used in Obexia and Max fiberboard single-use boxes. During this test, we will initiate the type of thermal runaway condition that could potentially occur while shipping damaged, defective, or recalled lithium-ion batteries. For the test, we used 20 lithium-ion mobile phone batteries. The batteries used in the test were rated for 24 watt-hours, whereas most mobile phone batteries have only 10 to 16 watt-hours. In addition, each battery was at 100% state of charge. The middle battery was wrapped in a 3-inch by 3-inch Captain heater. The box was then placed in a sealed test chamber built to the specifications of the ICAO SAE G27 Draft Standards 3rd Edition. Thermocouples were placed on the top, bottom, and sides of the box. Leads from the thermocouples extend outside the sealed chamber to measure the temperature. A spark igniter was included to ignite a fire in the event that there was a high concentration of flammable gas emitted from the box. At the beginning of the test, you can see the temperature at the bottom of the box, the top of the box, and the battery cell. In this time-lapse footage, you can see the temperature of the battery rise to a maximum of more than 1200 degrees Fahrenheit during the thermal runaway event. The bottom of the box only reaches 122 degrees. The top of the box maintains 69 degrees. And with no flame around the spark igniter, there is no evidence of a hazardous amount of flammable gas in the test chamber. Opening the box after the test, we see no impact to the top of the heat shield nor to the interior box top. Some soot is visible on the left side of the lid. The bottom of the heat shield that faced the batteries has perforation due to the fire from the battery. Fire, heat, and flammable gases from the battery were mitigated by the heat shield. The heat shield performed three functions during the test, retarding fire spread, absorbing heat from the reaction, and filtering flammable gases. The thermal runaway event took the temperature of the igniter cell to 1246 degrees Fahrenheit, resulting in extensive damage to that cell. The other 19 cells, however, experienced only minor damage. The fire retardant treatment of the corrugated box and the inserts aids in the mitigation of the initial stages of the fire. When the direct flame stops, the treated corrugation works with other risk mitigating components of the Abexian Max solution to suppress the thermal event without residual flames. While charring occurred on the bottom of the battery tray, you can see that the fire did not penetrate the inside bottom of the box due to the fire retardant treatment and you can see that there was no effect on the exterior bottom of the box. All Obexium Max single-use corrugated boxes feature a DOT Special Permit 20432 for damaged or defective lithium batteries and devices with batteries included. They are available in standard and customizable sizes. They are also non-toxic, 100% recyclable, and made in the USA, and they ship fully assembled with simple closure instructions. These simple closure instructions mean less training is required for both domestic and international shipping. And the simple closure instructions are available in a variety of languages. To learn more about the complete line of Abexia Max solutions available exclusively from LabelMaster, visit labelmaster.com forward slash Obexian or contact your LabelMaster representative.